Microsoft Access 2013 allows us to build forms within forms. We have a main form and then it has a subform. In the picture here, the main form would be the country form and the subform would be the city form. So it's a form within a form. To have this happen properly, there must be a relationship between the two tables or queries. We also display any information related to this current record of Austria and it lists all the cities in Austria. If we change the country, it changes all the cities. To build a form like this, Access 2013 allows us to build it within the wizard really easily or we can modify an existing form to add a subform to it. We can also develop a form like this from scratch using our design tools. Let's see how to do two of these. I'll show you how to quickly make one of these using the wizard and we'll modify an existing form to add a subform. I've opened up my database and I'd like Access 2013 to assist me with building a form within a form. So to do that, let's kind of look at our database and see what's available. I have an idea of what I want to build. Number one, I would like to have a form that shows me my patient information and any visits that they've had. So I do have a table that's already built that has t patient information and I also have a table with their visit information. And I want to show you how these two tables are linked. In other words, what relationship is between them. So on the Database Tools tab, in the Relationships group, I click on Relationships and I can see that the Patient table is connected with a relationship to the Visits table and it is a one-to-many relationship. What that means is one patient can go to the doctor many times, or several times, M-A-N-Y, many times. And this is perfect for a subform structure. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the relationship. I said no, I didn't change anything there. I'm going to go ahead and close out the tables because I don't need them open. And you'll see how many forms I have right now. I have a total of four forms. I'm going to start with selecting the patient table and on the create tab in the forms group I'm going to click on form wizard. With the table patient already selected I have all the available fields and for the available fields I want everything. So I'm just going to click on everything and bring it all over. Next I want from the table of visit I want the visit ID. I don't need the patient ID because I already have it up here from the other table. I'm going to have visit date, reason, and walk-in. And I'm saying next. Now, if I want to view my data by the patient, you'll see that I'll get the subform, meaning my patient information is right here, and then in a separate form on the form, I have the visit information. If I choose to view my, my data by my visit, everything is on a single form. So I want to do a subform. I say next. I have a choice of tabular or data sheet. I'll go ahead and leave it as data sheet. Now I do want to rename my form as patient visit and I'm going to leave my subform as visit subform and I'll show you what happens. Remember I have four forms. When I create these forms there will actually be two separate forms. Say finish. Here is my main form with the sub form already on it. But how many total forms did I get by doing that? I have my main as patient visit and then I did get a visit sub form. So this is what the visit sub form looks like looks pretty much like the table of visit except it's missing the patient ID and that's fine. Generally speaking you're not going to mess with this too much. You will do it here. You will create your your form information here. So I'm just going to toggle through my records and see what I have. So it looks like it's working properly. For each person it's pulling up their patient information as well as 
their visit information. Perfect. Here's the power of a form. I can create a new record directly here and what will happen is when I put in the patient information it will update the patient table and when I put in the visit information it will update the visit table as well and be included on the form. So I'm going to go ahead and select new record. Patient ID, I'm going to make something up. Last name, John Smith, date of birth. Oops. Their phone number. and their address city and zip code and their little old email here and their visit ID now I don't know what number it's on, so I'm going to make up a number. Date of visit, we'll say it's today. They had cold symptoms. And they were a walk-in. Now I could create more visits if they had more visits here, and it would be connected to John Smith. So let me go back and I'll show you. Let me close out this form. When I go to my patient form, Here's John Smith, and when I go to my visit, and I check out, I believe I gave him 2548, here's John Smith down here with his visit. So all of that was done quick and simple by using the form wizard and connecting these together, which would make sense if you're in the front office. You wouldn't necessarily want to open up all these tables and have them connected or have to repeat entries, having one single form of patient visit, filling in all the information here and having it update the table somewhere else is a perfect solution. Now let's create this same form, but this time let's pretend that we already have a form of patient created. So I'm going to go ahead and click on patient really quickly. Go to create form wizard. This time I'm going to grab all of the selected fields I'm going to say next. I want it in a column format. Say next and patient we'll call it patient fo column form. So here is patient column. Here's our patient visit with the sub form. So they're very sim similar except the patient column form is missing the sub form. So now that I have this form already created, let's add the subform afterwards. After the fact, I'm going to go and go to Design View. And right here, here's the end of the form. I'm going to pull down and make room for the subform just by moving down the footer. And I have this area down here to put that subform. And on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools, I have some controls. This control right here will add a subform or a subreport, depending if we're building a report. I'm going to click on it and just outline where I want the subform to be. Once I un uh, let go the mouse, I'm going to create it from an existing table, which remember we're going to use that table from visit to create this. Say next. I'm going to change the table to visit and this time I want all of the selected fields except I don't need the patient ID because again I have the patient ID already on the form. So I don't need it twice. I say next. I'm going to choose from a list. This is going to be a list. I'm going to show the visit for each record of the patient using the patient ID. That's how it's connected in the relationship. I'm going to say next. The subform is going to be the visit subform. I'm just going to name it two just so I don't get it messed up with the visit subform that I already have, although it's pretty much the same thing. I say finish. 
Now, when I go back up to the view as the form, you'll see that I have pretty much the same exact thing, except the alignment's a little bit different. But I can change an existing form to have the subform intertwined with it. Let's recap what we did with subforms. We built form with a subform two different ways. The first way, we utilized Access 2013's wizard and created it at the same time. So we chose what we wanted on our form, and then we also chose what we wanted on our subform. And in that full instance, built the form and subform. The second method, we had an existing form. We came back to it at a later time, went into the design view, created some space, and we added the control of the subform to the bottom of our existing form. We tied it to the table and information that we needed, and we allowed Microsoft Access to do the rest for us. Either one of these methods, it worked out really quick and simply. There is a third method, and that's it building the form with subform from scratch complete in design view. This takes a little bit of time and effort, but if you needed something really customized, that's the way to do it.